0.63. It made a difference versus 4.86. Um, and then here uh, we have X is the X is R D theta or R squared theta squared R R cancel we have R cubed we have two K Q one Q two uh, R cubed and then over there we have um, uh, Q is two K zero to L over two point oh one mm. So, one times 10 to the 9th, 10 to the minus 12. This one's going to be 98. <coughs> and then 12 over pi cubed, 100 minus uh, 2 over 12. So, let's see here. We're going to have uh, times uh, 9 divided by uh, 12 to the power 3 divided by 100 minus 1 divided by 6 times pi to the power 3. Point one five nine five five, right? Millinewtons. Is that what you're getting? What did we have for the uniform <laughs> rod? The, so the uniform is still bigger. Hmm. Yeah, maybe the limit is not close to zero. Maybe we got to go from 0 0.001. Uh, if we go from exactly zero, is it going to give us an answer? Still not going to give us an answer, huh? So we got to go like maybe 0 0.001 and then do another 0 0.001 there, uh, and then it should be bigger. Yeah, then it's going to work. So it's telling us if, if it's too thick here and then it decreases, it's still smaller, okay? But if it's really thin and most of the charge is here, then it beats the uniform. So it's kind of interesting, the, the mechanism of what's happening here. So if we go 0 0.001, probably, then it's going to beat the uniform. 0 0.001, and then we do here 0 0.001. So you're going to go 1,000 here. Then this one will change to 1,000. And then you do a 0 0.001, and then you see it's bigger than the uniform. You see? OK, cool. And then if you do the, the charges increasing the other way around, then it should be smaller than the uniform, OK? If the charge is going this way and it's increasing, it should be smaller because if most of the charge is here, then more cancellation is taking place. OK, good. <clears throat> now let's talk.